Hello friends! In this tutorial we are going to learn how to import animations from the DAS Studio into Unreal Engine 5. Please do not misunderstand. In some of the previous tutorials we were importing DAS skeletal meshes and retargeting the native UE5 making animations to these imported characters. But what if we need to use the animations from the DAS Studio inside our Unreal Engine project. And this is what this tutorial is about. So, let's begin. Let's run Unreal Engine 5.1 and create a new project. Let's select the third person template and let's name our project Does Animations. And hit the create button. Our project has been created, and let's now enable the DAS2 Unreal plugin. Just in case if you don't have it installed, you can follow one of my previous tutorials. I will place a link in the description. I have described the basics of working with DAS in Unreal Engine in that tutorial. But now I suppose you already have the DAS2 Unreal plugin installed, so let's go to Edit, Plugins, and type DAS2 Unreal. And we enable the DAS2 Unreal plugin, and you see the editor prompts us to restart, and we hit the Restart Now button. And the project has been restarted, and we may now close this plugins window. Now, to import animations directly from the DAS Studio, we need to set some specific settings for the DAS to Unreal plugin. So we go to Edit, Project Settings, and in the left tab, we navigate down to the Plugins section. And we click on the DAS to Unreal settings. And here we should disable these two options fix bone rotations on import. We disable it, set it to false, and zero root rotation on import. We disable it as well. Right, and now we are ready to go. And now let's go to the does studio and you see I have already prepared a figure here and applied animations. There is a Victoria 8 figure and I have applied some clothing to her and I have already added this fashion walking and posing animations. Guys, just in case, if you are using Animate 2 plugin in your DAS Studio, before going further, we should go to the Animate 2 tab, right click on the empty space, and select the Bake to Studio keyframes option, and wait until it bakes to the DAS Studio timeline. Just like this. It requires some time to be finished. But if you are using standard DAS animations without Animate 2, you just skip this step because your animations are already baked to the timeline when you apply the standard DAS animations out of the box. So I have done this, and you see I now have all the animations baked to my DAS timeline. I just go here. So, in my scene tab, I select my DAS figure. In my case, it is Victoria 8. And first, I go to File, Send to, DAS to Unreal. And first of all, we are going to 
export our skeletal mesh without animations. So we may set the name here. I will just leave it as it is. Make sure the skeletal mesh is selected in the asset type and under the advanced settings make sure that the show fbx dialog option is selected and then we hit the accept button and in the fbx export options window make sure that you disable the include animation option and we may leave all the other options as they are set by default and we hit the accept button and we wait until it finishes sending to Unreal right let's go to Unreal and check it out So, it has been exported the skeletal mesh from the DAS and imported it to the Unreal Engine. And we may see it now here. Looks good. And let's save all before we proceed. Now, let's go back to our DAS Studio. And now we are going to export the animations separately. So, we keep the Victoria 8 selected in our scene tab and once again we navigate to the file send to DAS to Unreal. And now, instead of the skeletal mesh near the asset type, we select animation. And let's give it another name, send DAS animation. And we hit the accept button and we hit accept. It may take a while if you have a long animation, but let's just wait until it completes. So it's done and we hit the OK and we may now close the DAS Studio. And the animation is getting imported into Unreal now. Right, let's check it out. Just open it. And yeah, the animation has been imported. And as the pre preview mesh, we see our DAS Victoria 8 skeletal mesh is being used. So, let's close this window and let's save all. Now, to check it out, let's just go to our content drawer, DAS to Unreal, and we can directly drag and drop the animation onto our level. Let's rotate it a little bit just to see how it works. Let's select this option and let's set the snap sizes to one. Of course we want 
adjust this location a little bit higher. Let's just start again now. And you see, we now have our Genesis 8 figure with the animations on our scene. And we can use it in cinematics as well by adding the figure and the animations to the sequencer. Or we can just use it inside our game as you can see. But just in case, if you are not going to use the DAS animations, but you want to retarget the animations from the Unreal Engine 5 to the DAS skeleton, check out my previous tutorials, where we have already discussed how can we do so. Oh yeah. And that's basically it for today. Really short tutorial today. Have a nice day and see you next time. Goodbye.